Welcome back to my uh, online video tutorial series. Uh, I'm a bit concerned that some persons still do not know how to convert a drawing to PDF. And uh, the exam is less than 48 hours away. Um, what I realized is that um, some persons are a little bit confused or uh, tend to misinterpret uh, the difference or so the similarities between AutoCAD architecture and standard AutoCAD. Um, I would strongly recommend that, pers well, I personally do not use project per se in AutoCAD architecture. I keep it really, really simple. I really love to keep my dimension in simple, my drawing style simple, everything simple, quick. I focus on the easiest way to get things done. And uh, like here, here I have um, a sectional elevation. Yes, and I say you're on an exam and you draw in your model space using one-to-one -one scale, right? One-to-one -one scale. Uh, this is consistent with the uh, novel or traditional article where you draw in the model space using one-to-one. -one. So I personally, would recommend that you draw, if you're using AutoCAD architecture, that you draw using in the model space using one-to-one. -one. I still use my standard um, dimension and technique, you know, just like um, the novel or standard AutoCAD. To convert this drawing, so you have completed your drawing and you want to convert this specifically for your exam. It's important to note that for CSEC, you really don't need any elaborate title block. All you need is your candidate number, not your name. You need your candidate number, the scale that you use, and the topic or title. In this case, you're doing a sectioning. So all you need, is, need are three things. You need your, your, your candidate number, the scale that you use, and the title. This is sectioning. So to get started, you simply, you would need to set up to choose your paper size. So um, from here, you can click layout or you can even choose a new one. So let's click layout here, layout, click on layout. Uh, let me choose a new one, layout here. So this would have been our new layout. So first, you, you could delete this first or you could change your paper first. It's total, totally perfect. So I'll left click first, left click first, then right click, then go up to page, setup manager. And I would then, this, the regular size paper is 210 by 297. We do not want that. You must print your A3 or our tabloid size paper. A3 is 420 by 297. Tabloid is the same dimension. It is it is um, 17 by 11. I realized that CSEC has um, sent some larger size paper to some school. So I would strongly recommend that persons do not use the pre-bordered paper as you would have border upon border. So I strongly recommend that they use ACOD ISO instead of those pre-bordered paper, just in case your school got a size paper. All right, so first I would then click modify. I will then go to here. I strongly recommend that you use Microsoft print to PDF instead of um, DWG, to, DWG to PDF PC3. I would strongly, I wouldn't recommend that you use this. The thing about Microsoft print to PDF is that it restricts the choices. Yeah, with that, you only have the necessary papers that you want. You have the tabloid and the A3, which is the size needed for CSEC. So in this case, I'm using uh, millimeters. In Jamaica, we use millimeters, so we would use A3. Uh, next step is to, for CSEC, you don't want it to be colored. So you want to choose monochrome, all right, monochrome. This prints in different shades of gray. Next thing, you want to ensure that your unit is in millimeters 
and this must be one-to-one -one scale. All right, that's one. Very importantly, do not click this. Do not click fit to paper. If you click fit to paper, you will not be able to scale the drawing. All right, you will not. Next thing, let this stay in landscape. That is good. So this is okay for now. Okay. All right, close. So now my paper size has changed. My next step is to click, left click on this viewport and delete it. Once you have done that, I MV, MV, enter. Once you have done that, click a little distance here, drag down here. Yeah, remember, we don't want any fancy title block. Click here and everything should be in the drawing. No, we want this particular drawing to be on the paper. So I click one, two times, bam, bam, to bring up my north, south, east, and west. Once that is, is visible, you know that you're in model space. So you then bring this drawing, align this drawing onto, onto your paper. Once you have done that, click two times outside, bam, bam, to go into paper space. So you're now in paper space. From paper space, you're gonna click one time onto the viewport and you're gonna go down here, down here, click a drop down, then click one to 50. And just like that, your drawing is scaled one to 50. Once you have done that, you want to lock that. So you're gonna click onto this. That is now locked. It cannot be adjusted, right? So your scale is set. Escape. The next thing you want to do, know that you're in your space, you want to simply add a little title block here. And I'd recommend that you, you just click right here. You must be in paper space and you must use um, um, standard size, size text, right? So I click use single line here. I ensure that cap lock is on. I want a little title block here. You just want your, your candidate number. So I click here to start. I want a text height of six. Six should be good. Enter. Your rotation angle should be zero. So enter to accept that. Next, start type C N D I D A. Candidate. Well, you would have changed your um text layer. C A N D C A N D I D A T E number N O candidate. Then enter your number. It's your unique CSAP number. Do not use your correct name. Once you have on that line, press enter. Then you're going to enter your scale, C A L E. And the scale that used for this drawing is 1 to 50. Then enter. Up here, T O P R title, title, T -E I T L E. This title is sectioning, all right? S E C T I O N. <clears throat> Sectional elevation, E L E V A T I O N. Please note that the text might appear as larger initially, then it's gonna shrink to the actual size. So you then click here, and that is basically it. That is it right there. <clears throat> that is it. So this is your name, your scale, and that. If you want to adjust this, you can select this. Everything M enter and you can move everything where you want it to be. That is there, that is it. Now, you want to convert this drawing to PDF. So you want to convert this drawing to PDF and save it onto your desktop, yeah? It is recommended that you create a folder. You create a, you create a folder on the desktop with your candidate number, and then you put this drawing into it, all right? So, um, probably I, well, I'm, I'm gonna click print here and then click continue to plot single sheet. 
yeah, then it everything here will, will pop up A3, that, that, that. Your next step is to ensure that you preview your work to see what will be coming up. So this is basically how your design will, will look. This is it. So if you're okay with that, if you're okay with that, you would then um okay. If you're okay with that, you click okay. All right. And it will ask you to select where you want, you want, you want to um, save this drawing. I'm gonna choose my thumb drive. In your case, you are gonna select desktop, okay? So I choose here, my thumb drive, and I'm gonna type into your, your candidate in the I, you candidate. Um, and then you enter your number, your number, or you might want to just want to enter your number in this section. And well, candidates, it's up to you, C-A-N-D-I-D-A-T-E, number. And then enter your number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you might be instructed to save it using just the number and not necessarily the candidate. So click um, save. So you wait on that to convert to PDF. So now this has, that has been converted to PDF. Yeah, it has been converted to PDF. So you can go to your thumb drive or to your desktop and you will see it there. Again, I strongly recommend that you create a folder, create a folder on your desktop and then you save it to that folder, all right? So that's basically, that's pretty much it. That's how